If you're having trouble with Quick Assist not working on Windows 11, you're not alone. Many users encounter issues when trying to share their screen or receive help remotely. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll walk you through practical solutions to diagnose and fix the most common problems. Whether it's a connectivity issue, a permission setting, or a software glitch, these steps will help you restore Quick Assist and get the support you need quickly and efficiently. To restart your computer, click the Start button at the bottom left corner. Then, click the power icon. Now, select Restart. Your PC will shut down and power back up automatically. Let's run the Windows Troubleshooter together. First, right-click on the Start button at the bottom left corner of your screen. Now click on Settings from the menu. In the window that opens, click on System from the left sidebar. Scroll down and click Troubleshoot, then click Other Troubleshooters. Choose the one that fits your issue and click Run. I will choose Audio and Get Help Pages Opened. Follow the instructions to resolve the issue. Let's run the DISM tool to fix your Windows image. Click the Start button, type CMD, then right click on Command Prompt and choose Run as Administrator. Click Yes if prompted. Now type this command, DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health, then press Enter. This tool checks for problems in the Windows image and tries to repair it. The scan may take a while. Let it finish fully. Once done, restart your computer. Let's run the system file checker. Click the start button and type CMD in the search box. Right click command prompt and choose run as administrator. If you see a prompt, click yes. Now type this command, SFC space forward slash scan now. Then hit enter. Windows will start scanning for missing or damaged system files. Just wait until it reaches 100%. If it finds issues, it'll try to fix them automatically. Once it's done, restart your PC.